from the first day of school, the teacher's role is to create an inviting mathematics environment, a place where students feel comfortable sharing their ideas, challenging each other, explaining their thinking, seeking advice from each other, and taking risks in their learning. In the Guide to Effective Instruction, K-6, that document describes effective learning environments as being those that are consistently fostering student achievement. The performance of all students is strengthened when the diversity of the class is recognized and valued. This climate and culture for learning is developed through the arrangement and use of organizational strategies for the physical and social aspects of the classroom. The first impression that students receive when they walk into a classroom is created by the physical setup. If the classroom is well designed to stimulate learning and to affect attitudes towards learning, it will convey a positive message to students about learning mathematics from the moment they arrive. Some examples of such organization include designating a visible mathematics area in the room for students' mathematical exploration. The classroom is arranged furniture, so there is sufficient table space for small groups and paired discussions where students will write, manipulate their concrete materials in order to learn organizing students sitting in flexible groups so that they can sit face-to-face -face in pairs or in small groups. In mathematics classrooms, manipulatives and other mathematical materials are visible and accessible, that is, within students' reach. Some key learning materials include base 10 blocks, 100 bead strings, calculators, folding and double-sided rulers, interlocking 1 centimeter and 2 centimeter cubes, geoboards, pattern blocks, rec and recs, and square tiles. As well, modeling and focusing on the use of different visual organizers during instruction are strategic ways to develop students' mathematical thinking and communication. As students become familiar with the use of these manipulatives, these different visual organizers, they become more confident and self-directed in selecting the appropriate materials as tools to solve a problem and demonstrate their understanding of a concept. Space should always be available in the classroom to display a variety of student work. Charts developed during discussions with the class are solutions to problems that members of small groups have recorded. Displays of student work should reflect the mathematics that the students are currently doing. They can refer to classmates' mathematical ideas and solutions that are posted on the classroom wall to explain and to question their mathematical ideas or strategies. A strategy wall is similar to a word wall and is developed in the same way. The teacher, in helping students to reflect on a day's lesson, asks them what strategies they used or what approaches they tried. Fostering positive attitudes and interactions for learning mathematics through problem solving can be led by the teacher in terms of modeling and encouraging positive attitudes, confidence and perseverance when solving problems and persevering to make sense of student ideas and responses. The teacher can communicate to students and other teachers using precise oral and written mathematical language. As the teacher watches students' mathematical actions and gestures, the teacher might ask them to explain their thinking to one another and to the teachers. Teachers have the opportunity to extend students' positive tendency for and disposition towards mathematizing. To do this, they must create a community of mathematics learners in an environment of respect, responsibility, engagement, and high expectations.